In Biloxi today, we were welcomed with beautiful weather. Dozens of locals prepared to say farewell also to two sea turtles who were rescued earlier this year. News 25's Andrew Scher joining us live now to tell us how we're going to continue to learn from these turtles who started their journey into the deep blue today. Andrew, good evening. Yeah, good evening, Tanner. What astonished me earlier today was the amount of people who showed up to send off these two beautiful creatures that they've never really met before, from Biloxi Mayor Mo, uh, Fofo Gillich to the average runner by. So I spent a little time learning about these two turtles, and I found out that they carry a much larger purpose. They say there's no place like home, and for rehabbing turtles Fig, Newton, and Scar, they were ready to return to that very place. They are the indicators of the environment, and so and these are also threatened and endangered species. When that link is broken, your ecosystem is broken. So that's what they were telling us. After rescuing both turtles right here on the Gulf Coast, Dr. Moby Solanji and the Institute for Marine Mammal Studies rehabbed the turtles back to health. Now fully healthy and clamoring to return home, IMMS sent them back, but with a mission, if you will. Well, the animals have uh, satellite tags, which are basically cell phones. Every time they come to breathe, they will send a signal to the satellite, and we will know their position. So by knowing their position, we will know what part of the habitat they are using 24-7. Only the animals can tell us if this home is safe for them. A safe home not only benefits them, but the entire Gulf Coast. The body carry spillways extended opening in 2019 appears to have had lasting effects on Mississippi's ecosystem, and monitoring these turtles could hold the key to determining how much damage was actually done. The majority of our infrastructure, our communities, our culture, everything's based on the Mississippi Sound. As far as fisheries production, tourism, recreation, commercial production, everything is based upon this estuary that we live next to. And if you ask Dr. Paul Mickle yourself, he expects everything back to normal in no time. And the Mississippi Sound is going to rebound, and it's hopefully going to rebound very quickly. And we'll get our fisheries production back up, our ecosystems functionally as they were. And one of the coolest parts about this story is that you can actually, at home, you can track the whereabouts of Fig Newton and Scar yourself. So around the first week of December, visit IMMS's website uh, at IMMS.org, and you can track them live as they make their rounds uh, around the Mississippi Sound or the Gulf of Mexico. So be sure to do that first week of December. Reporting live in Biloxi, Andrew Scherer, News 25.